A few weeks ago, I was going to get a new pair of glasses, and I instead decided to support the film Magic Valley at Tribeca Film Festival, and I am very happy that I did. And on April 25th, I got to go see it, and it was phenomenal. It's the directorial debut of Jeff Zinn, and he wrote, directed, and edited the entire thing, which is awesome. The only way to describe this movie that I can think of is hauntingly beautiful. It takes place in Idaho, the trout capital, and <laughs> the scenery is so beautiful and it plays as a backdrop for a really disturbing story that it goes in chronological order, but you get filled in on all of this backstory. It really, it ends where a lot of movies start, which people were saying in the theater. I thought that it took a story that wasn't trying to be crazily unique in, in what was actually going on, but found a very unique way of telling the story. The main character, you felt this sense of just devastation and despair over what had gone on. Even the, the humorous parts, you kind of forgot what was going on around these people. I don't want to give any spoilers, I want you to see the movie. Especially with the little boys, they would say like cute, you know, funny little kid things and you forgot for a second what was go really? And it had a very great way of introducing the relationship between all the characters. You didn't know how they were all intertwined. It was another thing that was great is there wasn't a, a crazy amount of dialogue and it wasn't needed. I feel like the silences in this movie spoke louder than any of the any dialogue could have. This movie also tended to play on your emotions and you found yourself empathizing with a character that maybe maybe you shouldn't and you couldn't help it. And you were, you know, laughing at scenes that maybe weren't really that funny, you know, but they were in the context that it was in. The acting in this film is fantastic from the little kids to the older sheriff and everyone in between. I don't know if any of these people are going to see this, but if you do, I just want to thank you for being so nice and genuinely excited to be there. And um, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but <laughs> Heather Ray was fantastic to me and just wonderful. I, she was lovely. <laughs> and I just want to thank her for that and being so welcoming to me. There's a wasp. I also want to thank Laura and Jackie. They were they were awesome to me as well. The really short version of how this came to be is I started listening to Folded Light a few years ago. I don't get embarrassed very easily, but I confused Steve and Jeff outside and whoops, that sucked, but he was extremely nice about it. Uh, they don't look anything alike, but they do. I started watching Criminal Minds and found out Matthew Gray Goobler and became a fan of him separately and then found out about this movie and who was making the movie and that it was the guy from Folded Light. And I was like, wow, that's fantastic. So that's how I got to know about this movie. And they were all there and I got to meet all of them and they were fantastic people. It was just nice to see people in a field that I want to be in, being successful and doing something that they really love and having full control over it. and. Just having it all work out pretty magnificently is great. I'm so glad that I went. If you get the opportunity to see this film, I highly suggest that you do. Um, I'm going to put links to everything down there. Please go check them out. Um, you'll be happy that you did. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs>